The EKU Colonels rolled into Bloomington Thursday night with every intention of sending the Indiana football program into complete turmoil. Seven minutes in, however, it appeared the Hoosiers were poised to do what nearly everyone expected them to do. Trey Burgess plowed in from one yard out to make it a 9-0 Indiana lead. You know, at first I think everybody was a little, uh, you know, unsettled and just kind of getting used to the game, and uh, we turned it around. On the next possession for the Colonels, they made it clear that they were there to win. Yeah! Yeah! Cody Watts hooking up with Garnett Phelps on his 61-yard touchdown reception, pulling Eastern back to within two. And after Jeremy Caldwell intercepted Ben Chappell for one of his two picks on the night, momentum was definitely on the Colonel's side. You know, he played pretty good, you know, in the secondary. Uh, you know, that was one of our concerns coming in with, with all new safeties, but I thought we played pretty good. Before the half, Chapel hit DeMarlo Belcher deep over the middle for a 33-yard touchdown, and IU went to the locker room with a nine-point lead. Well, at halftime, Coach, Coach told us, like, we know we got, we're down, but we know we got to come back, step up, play hard. Like, we figured out what they was doing, know what we got to do, just come out and execute. The second half was a battle in the trenches, with both teams struggling to gain yardage. I told the kids, hey guys, keep, keep stopping the run and, and, and we're going to be okay. Late in the third, the Colonels moved the ball 63 yards down the field and into scoring position. From the Indiana 5, Cody Watts saw the end zone, but an EKU lead slipped from his hands and fell to the ground. Uh, I should have went down a little earlier. Uh, I thought the, the ball came out on the, you know, on the ground, but you know, the official made the call, so that's what happened. The Colonels would have one last heave at a miracle, but as T.J. Pryor's Hail Mary fell to the ground, a monumental victory became a moral victory, and EKU was left with what might have been. You know, our, our guys are not uh, in the locker room happy. I mean, it, this is not a uh, we came close, you know, moral victory. We expected to come in here and win. And, uh, you know, I'm sure everybody is excited that, you know, out of our program that we hung with Indiana, but we're very disappointed. We, we feel like we should have won this game.